So the beauty of a vertically oriented hive with these relatively small or shallow boxes, these, these boxes are referred in, in the beekeeping business as a western shallow with a six and a quarter inch frame. By running our bees in a vertical orientation like this, we can very accurately, easily remove honey during the honey flow, during the time of year when the bees are producing copious amounts of honey. We do our harvest uh, at the end of the honey flow when we can come around and at accurately ascertain how much honey a colony has produced and thereby ensure that we're leaving adequate amount of honey for the bees. But we can non-destructively remove a box of honey from a colony and take it back and uh, by spinning these frames in an extractor, we can remove the honey and basically not destroy the comb. Bees utilize about eight pounds of honey to make one pound of beeswax. And so when you can remove combs and extract the honey out of them and then not destroy the comb, you are minimizing the amount of resources that the bees have to invest in utilizing that comb again and in producing honey. And one of that is really like one of the great advents, uh, inventions of, of modern beekeeping by being able to extract honey and conserve the comb and give it back to the bees. It, it allows the bees to be highly efficient and allows them to easily produce more honey than they need to winter. And that is, you know, one of the interactions between humans and bees that allows humans to benefit from the productiveness of bees and get to partake in honey. And, you know, one of the motivation, motivations for Joy and I as beekeepers is that you know, it's our belief that this world needs good food. Humans need good food. And everywhere I look, I feel like I see humans eating food that is of inferior quality. And that affects us. It affects our vibration, our energy, our health. And honey is one of the best foods for humanity. And to be able to interact with the bees in a non-destructive fashion and share in, in the mana that they produce and and be able to share that with other people is why I want to be a farmer, to, to be part of producing high quality food for humanity. It's very clear that we need good food and the bees produce some of the best food for our stomach, for our bodies, for our spirits. The nutrients that are involved in honey are already in a soluble form. They're completely assimilable. They travel far in our bloodstream they nourish all of the cells of our body. And I uh, am, am motivated as a beekeeper to assist humanity in getting this high quality food out into our, into our culture. So uh, not utilizing a movable frame hive is limiting the ability to share a surplus with people. It just means uh, less less can be gained from interacting with the bees because of course priority number one with the bees is making sure that they have enough and and once that's accomplished then then the question is is there a surplus for us and as a beekeeper in oregon you know this is one of the hardest regions of the of the country to produce surplus honey crops but also a, a place where we produce some of the most pristine and uh, highest quality honeys in the nation. So while we lack in quantity of honey produced, certainly the quality and the, the purity of the product produced here is, uh, is unparalleled. And that, that's why I prefer to keep bees in this kind of an environment as opposed to the heartland where the big crops of honey are produced in this nation off of agricultural, industrial agriculture um, places where bees are being forced to tend fields that are, uh, you know, laden with chemical residues and fertilizers and lacking the diversity of wild forage and wild pollen sources, that, which are uh, imperative to the bees' health as well. This spot we're here on now is a really great uh, place to demonstrate the regenerative 
capabilities of bees. This spot prior to us bringing bees in lacked any topsoil at all. Uh, it's, it's another location here. This was all uh, an old gold mine and the soil types are such that uh, plants don't readily grow on them and by keeping bees on this flat now over a decade uh, they have stimulated the soil development and the growth of all this grass and you can see where I'm standing here uh, the soil is much much thicker than for instance out in the middle and that is directly due to the presence of colonies uh, being placed in this location year in year out.